I really do need to go down into the depths more. <laughs> I keep saying that and then keep not doing it. Um, let's get this last shrine while we're here. Is there stuff up here I haven't done? Actually, yes. While we're here, let's just take care of this, uh, the battery stuff that I've been telling myself I was going to do for ages. Let's actually do it. Now that I think I have it figured out. I think there are still limits. Yeah, I think there's still limits, so I won't be able to get a whole new battery. But at least I can figure out a bit more of the process. And those limits probably refresh, I would guess, with every Blood Moon, because that's how things seem to have regularly work here. Okay. So, let's use fusion to attach, whoa, you, back here, grab you, put them on the cart, or on the rails, then we head in, okay. Fire! So yeah, this cart takes us into a secret cave down here, which I'm sure I went through, probably, when we were down here before. Yeah. Let's light up this place. Not that it really matters, but... I want to be able to see where I'm going. Where? There we go. Okay. We can do some mining. I assume I came in here when I first was on this island. I don't actually know for certain on that. Zonite. So these guys are just slowly mining and I come by and just grab all the Zonite. Hey, you don't mind if I break this. Your behavior is a threat. No, it's not. I'm just helping with your mining. Is there more zonite in here. Maybe. Yes. There's a big cave network down here. That's cool. I don't think I actually came here. In that first couple of episodes. Uh, maybe. I can't loot this. So I probably did already grab that. Hey. Anyway, the person I need to talk to, I think, was in that room. If I'm not mistaken. Hello, mining construct. The path to the mining site ahead is a dark cave. I hope you brought bright bloom seeds. Yep. I brought plenty.
All right, where does this take me? Huh. So this is another entrance to the same area. All right. Cool. Well, let's actually go back where we were trying to get to. This was just a fun detour. Now, if I'm right, we can trade Zonai ore for those crystal, refined crystal, whatever they are. And then we go to the crystal refinery and we can trade the refined crystals for the batteries. Hello, you. I am processing zonite into other forms. I am willing to accept raw zonite in exchange for processed materials. Processing. Zonite is processed by smelting it into a furnace. Uh, smelling it in a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. Two such materials are zonite charges and crystallized charges. Crystallized charges is what I need. I think. Crystallized charges are a solidified form of zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw materials in the construction of energy cells. Thanks. I assume I just treat this as a store. Yeah. How many do you require? I'll take all of them. All that are available? Then here will cost you 30 pieces of zonite. The deal. Thank you. I will process this zonite later. The resulting materials will be available to you once the processing is complete. No, get off, Link. Yeah, so that's the process, is we go to forges like this. This one, I think, only has ten. I've heard that the other ones that are in the mines in the depths have thirty. And when we get to a hundred, I believe? Don't quote me on that. Then we can take them to a crystal refinery like this one or the one that's uh, by Lookout Landing here. And they can do the conversion to the batteries. So I've got plenty of Zonite ore, I just need to get it all converted. So basically every Blood Moon, I think Blood Moon, not sure. Every once in a while I need to come back here and do the exchange again. This is a crystal refinery. Get producing. The production will require- yeah, I need a hundred. Yep. Cool, well that was a fun side thing. So if we want to go there now. Uh, let's just travel to this tower. have you marked or are you the one that I'm heading to I don't have you marked already neat is that okay that's the memory we just got so I'm looking for a shrine just this way oh there This is the one that was sort of floating in the air to my eye.
Um, hello? Ah, here we go. Yeah, you found me. Bye-bye. Hmm. It's not really a great way to get there. I could use the tower and then drop down from the sky. I wonder if I can ascend. I'm going to try that first. And if that fails... Oh, this guy's going to be a problem. <laughs> so he used electricity. What's the opposite of electricity? Water? No, water and fire. Earth. Do I have a... Hmm. Because we've got like shock fruit and then fire fruit and water fruit. Yeah. I don't know what the opposite would be. Like, dude, I just got shot in the back a bunch of times. Ah. Should have used. Haha, <laughs> thanks, guys. Topaz Rod, don't care enough. All right. So we're trying to get over to here to see if I can ascend up into that shrine area. Oh no, is that the gloom hands? Yeah, it is. I still don't know how I'm supposed to fight them off. Okay, Ascend does not seem the way to get up there. So... Let's drop down onto that tower, or onto that shrine from the tower. And I'm just gonna ignore the gloom hands, because I have no idea how you're supposed to fight them. Ran into them once, and they insta-killed me. I think it was this shrine that I'm heading to. Ooh, there's another shrine over there. Do I have you on my map? Can't really see that direction. Yes. Those are the three shrines I'm seeing in the distance. Let's get above it. Perfect. Should be pretty close. Is there something in here? Large zone I charge. <laughs> nice. Where's the entrance? Oh, it's right here. Oh, 
Okay. Next shrine. What's your deal? A bouncy device. Probably dealing with springs since they had one outside. Trying to get up there. Any obvious secrets? Didn't look this side, no. So there's another spring. Ah, that's gonna be where chest is. Maybe. I suspect I can't grab that from down there with Ultra Hand. It's too far away. Yep. Alright. Let's set you there. secret chest that I know should be around. So we've got a spring that we'll need to use to launch the orb. Yeah, this all seems doable. So we grab you. Uh, grab you. That you... Here. Something like that. Good. We pick up the orb, set it on top. Triggering this door, which will get me a double spring. Please get in there. Come on. <laughs> There's a double spring. Which I could merge onto this to get a triple spring. A question is, what is the purpose of this spot? This is where the spring started. Does something happen if I put you up here? Guessing not. No. Whatever. So let's set you back on there. Let's add another spring just to make it extra tall. Perhaps I'm supposed to put these on top of this for some reason. No. <laughs> Alright, you can go back there. 
Uh, I need the top one to... Nope. I wanted the top one to go in. Ugh. There. You guys are all contracted now. Okay. I think we're good. This isn't sketchy at all. There's our secret chest. Stealth up elixir. Probably need to just get off so that I can re-straighten it because it's at a weird angle. Probably shouldn't be trying to use it on this weird platform, if I'm honest. But I do what I want. Okay. Another shrine down. Not overly complicated. The next shrine. I guess do I go to that one? Out in the lake? Uh, I'm facing completely the wrong direction. Where were you? Still facing the wrong direction. No, it is this... I'm so confused. Ah. So we've got a shrine way out there. Is that really the one I was thinking of next? It seems so far away. Not any good ways of getting to it from above and dropping down on it. Like, arguably, from here I might be able to get closer, but I doubt it. So we'll just go... Straight to it from here. There's a shrine right there. Do I not have that one marked? I don't, and it had a stable next to it. You. Definitely get that one then. Because shrines and stables are cool. weapon is nearly dead, which is a shame. I could build new weapons, obviously. I've got a couple of these that I've just been holding on to for no reason. I uh, don't really want to deal with you guys. We've got some of the more advanced Lizalfos over there, based on coloring. So I'll just ignore them. Oh, 
Ooh, that is a lot of apples. And a golden apple. Or whatever those are worth. Got it. Next shrine. Forward force. Hmm. We need a ball to put in here. One of the large balls. Unsure about that. All right. Lava. We've got a cart. It can get us over the lava to there. Although I could probably have glided over there. But let's just see what this does. Okay. Gets us access to another wheel. Why does that matter? And another plank. So I can't get you actually all the way up there. Logically, I'd want this here to drive up these, maybe? No, I wouldn't want the wheel. Stay wheel. Hmm. Because so I would need the wheel to be attached to... I was attaching the like rubber part of the wheel to the block, which won't work. I assume that's what the other platform beam there is for. Is there a purpose here? What? Because I don't see what that gains me by sliding that block all the way up here. Unless I need to have driven the ball. Okay. So say I drive the ball over to here. Then I would use this to somehow get the ball all the way up here. So then I can take it along down to here. And maybe this whole thing is just trying to get the ball around to where I need it. Okay. I assume if I turn you guys on, you go forward. That one's blocked off, so not a great test. No, actually. Uh, so, attach boards to turn into a paddle boat, maybe. So we then paddle boat our way forward. Presumably with the ball. I'm still assuming that's our purpose. 
to get the ball over to here. Good. And then this opens up the door so I can get the ball out. All right. Set the ball there and that's our exit. Got it. Didn't see the chest though. Now that I'm thinking back on it. Any... Yeah, there we go. Made from that side. So. Definitely need to get the ball over. That's the first step. Let's pull you back over here. Glue you to the top. Okay. No, nope, no. Nope. Uh, Link. Come on. We need to pull it back. got the ball over here, which is what we needed. We've got a plank here. Don't roll. How do you help me, random plank? Let's get it at a similar angle. That's not really a similar angle, but fine. Okay. Does that help me in any way? No, I'm dumb. Okay. I gotcha. We drop this. We attach the wheel onto here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Stay. We're essentially doing the same paddle boat thing I talked about earlier. And we glue you onto there. Yeah. We paddle boat our way up. Gotcha. Okay. You stay. Now, there's a chest here. Uh... Good thing you float or I would be unhappy. There's our secret chest. Strong Zonite Sword. I will definitely get rid of the spear bit. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's make a new weapon. Uh, sort by attack power. Let's see. So you are plus 25, plus 18. So let's hold you and then drop you on the ground. Then we will grab one of you and fuse you. So it is still a one-handed weapon that does 30 
seven attack damage, which is awesome. Because this, I think, is a two-handed weapon, yes? No. Awesome. And I can make some more weapons out of these. What was the other? Oh yeah, I've got a long sword handle as well. Which possibly I should have used for that. Whatever. There. A couple of good weapons. Get Ultra Hand back. Use you there. And then grab you. Uh, actually, I'll want it like this. Okay. And one more. Okay. Let's see how that works. I mean, it's working. Not the fastest thing in the world. Probably if I'd put it on the edges of the wheels so that it did the whole board paddling. Ra like rather than on the side, if I'd put it on the tread, it would be better. But this will work. Okay. Grab you. You guys keep doing your thing. And there we are. This one took a moment to think about what I need to do. But we got it pretty quickly. There was a stable nearby, so let's check that out next. 